Hit Film Sensei here. In this video, we're going to talk about the very basics of your Hit Film software. So when you first bring up the software, you get this introductory page, okay? And what you want to do is just go right to New uh, Project and then start editing, okay? And you can kind of let the rest of the stuff be what it is. Now let's talk about the different panels that we have here. First, we have our viewer panel here, okay? And then we have our editor timeline down here, right? Now, right now, I am in the classic mode, okay? So if I click on these nine square button workspace, then you can see here's what a workspace. You click on this and you have all the panels, the meter, the sound meters, the trimmer, right? the editor timeline, the uh, media effects, history, processor, and so on and so forth. If I click on the compositing, this is very popular among a lot of people. Here's your controls and text and track. Here's your effects and media tab, history, right? Here's your editor timeline and stuff like that, okay? Here's an editing version where you have a big trimmer and a big uh, viewer screen, but I like the classic, so I stay in the classic. Uh, this is what the old school uh, hit film software looked like. Basically, you have your Windows Media or your viewer window here, I mean, where you watch your videos. Here's your editor timeline. This is where you're going to place your videos so that you can watch them, okay? Over here, you'll have your effects all the effects that come with hip film that you have access to you'll have your text all the ways to manipulate your text and you'll have your history and this is a very important tab as well okay uh, you'll have a minor or mini trimmer here and then you'll have your media your controls where you can manipulate the tracks that you're working with and your tracks okay um, you can also create your own say I want to create my own right or I want to reset the layout so I want it to look like my normal layout but in this case I want it to be the classic layout. Now let's import some footage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the under the media tab, the import. I'm going to import some raw footage right here and it ends up being sitting in here. Now you can actually create folders to put all of your footage in and things like that. Okay. But this is a 1280 by 720 it tells you it's six seconds long, 29.97 frames per second in stereo at 48,000 hertz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that and I'm going to drag it over here and put it on my timeline and it drops it right in there. It says, Oh, this is different than what we are having right now. Do you want to match that? And I'm going to say, yes, it'll be fine. And here I am sitting here with this lightsaber prop with a prop blade in there. And if I, this little um, slider panel here, I can slide and make this bigger so I can see it better. And if I grab this little playhead, I can actually scrub through the footage like that. And you can see that I slid it or moved it over, okay? I just moved the blade, okay? And I can back and forth. I can also use these little guys. I can say play forward, right, pause. I can go frame by frame backwards or forwards, and I can always move back to the beginning of the timeline, okay? I can actually set in and out points here, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. Now, what I wanna do is, is I wanna actually play with this footage. I wanna add some effects to it. So the way that you do that is you have to make what's called a composite shot out of it, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my right mouse button and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say, make a composite shot. It's going to say, do you want to name it something? And yeah, I'm just going to call it raw footage and that'll be fine. Okay. Select a clip, leave here. Everything else is fine and click OK. So now I have a raw footage composite shot sitting in here. And there was my editor tab right there with the original. And then this is the raw footage composite shot. Now a composite shot means that there's more than one thing being added. It's a composite of items that are on or inside of this tab. Okay. Uh, and now I can add my effects and things to that composite shot. So for example, if I wanted to add a plane, a plane is a rectangle that can be placed above or below my footage. Then I would say new layer, a plain layer, and I might call that plain layer blue light saber, just so that I know what it is. I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna click okay. And look, it's covering the entire plane. If I hit this little eye icon, I can turn it off so I can see through it kind of a thing, okay? 
That's my plane. I can adjust the size of that plane. So if I say under transform properties, scale, I can scale that up and I can slide it like this, or I can click on it and then just type a number in there. And now you can see as I slid that around that it became bigger and smaller, okay? 110 is usually what I want in terms of making a plane to host my lightsaber footage, okay? Now what I wanna do is, is I want to click on this little icon to turn it off for a second and I want to use a mask tool and these are my mask tools this is a square mask tool an ellipse mask tool and a freehand mask tool I'm gonna click on my freehand mask tool and I'm gonna create a mask using points so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna click that and that creates a masking point I'm gonna click again and oh now I have a second masking point I come up here and I create a third masking point right there and then I slide over, I create a fourth masking point right there. And then I click on the first one again to close the mask, okay? And now I have my masking points. And if I turn on my saber, what you can see is, is I essentially cut out that plane. And now the only part of the plane that you can see is the actual part that is inside the mask, okay? Now if I use my mouse wheel to, to zoom in, then I can adjust those mask points like this and like this so that it's right exactly where I want it. If I use my right mouse button, I can slide down the plane. And if I turn it off, I can see that I'm a little bit uh, sloppy here. I want to be exactly on the prop, you see. If I slide back down and take a look, ooh, I'm looking very good there. So if I turn it back on, now you can see. Now this little tab over here, is the zoom tab you can zoom in to 800 percent if you want you can zoom out to 12.5 percent it's a very small little area or you can say hey scale that to fit just make it the same size that it was before there's my mask okay if i go back to my uh arrow key then i can see that my mask or my blade has been masked and the prop is ready to go. Now, how do I add my lightsaber blade? It's very simple. I go to my presets tab where I've already downloaded my preset, my lightsaber presets. I click on the Inkscape Digital Presets, my lightsaber, and I bring down my blue, and I just drag it right onto there, and bang, there's my new lightsaber prop, okay? And that's the basics of how you actually paint the lightsaber prop to look like a lightsaber. On the next video, we're gonna talk about how to animate that video so that way you could it will move with your prop blade. In the meantime, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.